the DRDO has completed a dynamic high-speed trial of a fighter aircraft escape system, testing it at 800 km per hour on a rocket sled track. The test took place at the rail track rocket sled facility of the Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory in Chandigarh. The evaluation validated three crucial safety features, canopy severance, ejection sequencing and complete air crew recovery. This success places India among a small group of nations capable of running such advanced tests in-house. The Defence Minister's office announced the test's success on X. They wrote, Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, has successfully conducted a high-speed rocket slit test of fighter aircraft escape system at precisely controlled velocity of 800 km per hour validating canopy severance, ejection sequencing and complete aircrew recovery at rail track rocket sled facility of the Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory, TBRL, Chandigarh. They also informed that Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has complimented DRDO, IAF, ADA, HAL and industry on successful conduct of high-speed rocket sled test of fighter aircraft escape system and described it as a significant milestone for India's indigenous defence capability towards self-reliance. At the facility, engineers simulated the exact conditions a fighter pilot faces at high speed without needing to fly an actual aircraft. They used a dual rail sled, mounted the escape system on it, along with the forebody of a light combat aircraft and fired multiple solid rocket motors in a timed sequence to push the sled to a precisely controlled high speed. This method allowed DRDO to recreate the intense wind pressure, aerodynamic forces and movement a pilot would experience during real flight. Every fighter aircraft has an escape system, commonly known as an ejection seat. When a pilot needs to bail out, the system must perform several actions in a very specific order and within fractions of a second. Before the seat ejects, the cockpit canopy must break or separate cleanly. This is done using explosive cords or a cutting mechanism built into the canopy. Any failure here can be fatal because the pilot may collide with the canopy during ejection. After the canopy clears, rockets in the ejection seat fire and push the pilot away from the aircraft at the correct angle and speed. The timing is crucial. Even a slight delay or advance can lead to injuries. Once the pilot is clear of the aircraft, parachutes deploy in stages to stabilize and lower the pilot safely to the ground. Sensors monitor forces like acceleration, spin and impact loads. To check all this, DRDO used an instrumented anthropomorphic test dummy designed to mimic human body responses. It recorded forces, pressures, jerks and accelerations that an ejected pilot would face. Onboard and ground-based cameras filmed the entire sequence frame by frame. Static tests like net tests or zero-zero tests only show how the system behaves at low altitude or on the ground. But real ejections often happen at high speeds. The airflow can tear parachutes, destabilize the seat or damage the canopy. That is why dynamic trials at high speed are considered the real measure of ejection seat performance. The success of this dynamic test has placed India amongst an elite club of nations that have advanced in-house escape system testing capability.